For more tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. Also, ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime I have new videos. Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. I'm Paul Ricaldi and I'm here with a good friend of mine, Lauren Acosta. Lauren has this shop. This right here you made for a good buddy of yours, right? Yes. You see how cool that butcher block came out? We're going to be making this one right here out of sapwood, end grain. This is an end grain butcher block. We're going to show you step by step how to make this. And I'm going to be giving away two $50 gift cards at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around and drop a comment. All right. To stabilize this, we're just going to take some CA glue and put in here. Yep. This dries in seconds. They have a, It's a two-part glue with an activator. If it soaks up, you just hit it one more time. It doesn't matter if you already use the activator. You put some more on here and we'll activate it again. Push the nut. Just with, uh, okay, you want to push that down, make sure. Yeah, push the Good. air up. We're gonna cut this in half so we can get the cross cuts on it. We're gonna flip it around so that the sapwood matches up to the sapwood on this one. Right. You see the sapwood down here? The whiter, the lighter part? That's what we're trying to do is get this to match up. So when we go with the cross cut, you're gonna get the design in there. He's got tight bond in here, tight bond three. This is exterior wood glue. You don't have to necessarily go with tight bond. I like it. You like it. Like it's good it. stuff. Yes. So this is. Uh, the glue works. Yeah. I just use a lot. Of, I use tight bond all the time. Yeah. So we're going to take this, glue it up with a waterproof glue because it's a cutting board. It's going to be in your kitchen and it's going to get wet. Tight bond three and Gorilla Glue are both waterproof and restaurant, restaurant grade. Grade. safe. Safe. They're food safe. Food safe. And that's what you want. You want food safe glue in here. Gorilla Glue is an excellent glue too. Yeah, it dries so, really fast. Yeah. All right, well, he's gonna clamp that and then we'll put one across the top. Now we're good. All right. So, wipe this down, we'll put a one more clamp on the top. Man, that is gonna be beautiful. Love that one. We're ready to go ahead and drop this in a planer. We waited about an hour and a half. Normally you have to wait overnight. Let this sit overnight. We don't have a lot of time. We both work multiple jobs. We gotta get this thing done for the video. We're gonna set the stop block at the thickness of the board that we want because this is a cross cut and when you lay it this way, that's gonna be our thickness. All right, we set it down here. Now we're gonna flip them right. so we can get our, our design. Yeah. One way, it's the opposite way. You see this? Yep. Nice. Yeah. So we're gonna pull this side. You want to try to keep this as flat as you can while you're clamping it. Now
not much to sanding so we didn't cover that but you can use an orbital sander or a vibrating sander you want to start off with 80 grit this is a hardwood 80 120 or 150 220 and 320 you want to end with 320 that closes the grain really well this is a hardwood it's not like a, a softwood that you're going to stain you just leave this natural color it's a beautiful color so we wanted to close that grain make it watertight and uh and then we put a sealer on it right now he's going to put finger grooves in here and then we'll show you up close it's real simple we put clamps across here with some boards just to stop it Well, it's completed. This came out really cool and it was easy. This didn't take long, except for setting up the glue and letting it dry. Now, you see the designs on here from the sap wood and on the back, we have our grooves, the finger grooves. Right here, we have the feet and you can get these little rubber feet on Amazon or on eBay. eBay is a much better price, so you might wanna check that out. We'll have links down in the description box. Cut, we're gonna stop right now. Just for a second, I wanna tell you how you can win the gift card. You just need to drop a comment down below and go to paulstoolbox.com and give me your mailing address. And when you go there, just write Butcher Block. Anything you want, I don't care, but you just write Butcher Block so I know it's from this video. We're gonna choose two people at the end of the week, one week from now, to be winners and we will mail it out to you. So make sure you leave your mailing address. We have a lot more projects coming up guys. So make sure you stay tuned. Crescent City Woodworks on Instagram. Don't forget it, that's Lauren. And I'm paulstoolbox.com or right here at Paul's Toolbox. We will see you guys later. <laughs>